So to set up the Gear VR, you have to first um, put on the head strap. Now the head strap comes in two pieces like this. So what I'm going to do, let me put the back piece on first. Now the good thing about these straps is that they're all Velcro, Velcro um, connected, which is easy. So you just loop that in there like that. And on the other side over here, we also do the same thing. Put the Velcro strap through the loop. Like so. And then now the other piece is actually going to go and connect like that. So it fits on your head like a helmet. Next, I take my other band here. Now this has a Velcro um, piece on one end. And on the other end we have this plastic clip. It actually has a hook shaped like that. I'm going to take this hook and I'm actually going to clip it into here, into this bar. Have the hook facing upwards like that. So I have the hook like this, and it clips right into here like that. Right? This Velcro piece just loops in here. And then I can close it down. Now what's good about the Velcro, it's adjustable, right? So you can actually adjust this. So depending on the size of your head, you can adjust it so you have a comfortable fit. Now with the hair strap securely mounted, next thing to do is turn the VR headset around. Take off the cover. So here's the uh, micro USB port that the phone connects into. And then on this side we have the stabilizer or the little groove there that keeps the phone in place. And it actually can slide, so depending on the size phone that you have, because this can actually accommodate a Note 5 as well and you know the Samsung S7s and the S6s so they're all different sizes so this sliding bay here actually can adjust and actually keep the phone in place so here I have my Galaxy S7 Edge I'm going to connect this port into the VR so I'm actually going to hold this out with my finger plug this in. Now of course the screen has to face this way for obvious reasons. So I plug that in and I'm going to close it. Let's make sure that clips in like that and it's clipped in place. Next thing I do so make sure the phone is charged up because the, the actual Oculus headset is being powered by the battery in the phone. Um, and FYI, there is also um, an external port that you can actually connect a power supply to, to to actually power this directly so that it doesn't drain the phone battery too much. Anyway, I'll go into more details on that later. So what I do next is then put this back on my head and then I'm going to follow the on-screen instructions via the headset where it's going to show me and tell me what I have to do in order to access the Oculus App Store and then when I'm in that store I can actually you know download apps and and uh, uh, set up so what it's actually going to do is actually when I'm in here I'm going to follow the uh, instructions there should be some on-screen instructions and some audio which I will follow uh, where I'll be able to download the Oculus um, app and that gives me access to the App Store. And in that, in that App Store, I can then download and purchase VR games and applications. So let me put this on now and uh, follow the, ins the instructions. Welcome to your Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device and install the required applications on it. So as you heard, the um, 
VR headset now told me to disconnect the phone. So I'm going to do that. Pull that out. Reverse that there for a second. And here we see it says, Welcome. Enjoy an immersive virtual reality experience with the Gear VR. The setup process requires a network connection. This may result in additional charges depending on your payment plan. So obviously I have Wi-Fi set up on this already in my home, so we're good to go. So I'm going to click next. Let's connect to the service, downloading some software there. Um, no, I don't want him to Google to check my activity. And here's a new uh, Next. Alright, there, that's better. So there you go. So it says Gear VR Setup Wizard. Tap install to download and install the Vocard apps for your Gear VR. This may take a few minutes depending on your network connection. So see the Gear VR service, the Gear VR system, the Gear VR video, the Gear VR gallery, app manager, Oculus, and Oculus Home. So it's downloading right now. It's about 128.3 megabytes. So once it's done downloading, we will continue to set up. Seven of seven. So what I have to do now is uh, create an account with Oculus and then I'm going to sign in. And then from there, we should be able to see all the available VR apps that we can download and have fun with. Yippee! So now the Oculus application um, and has been fully installed. So uh, as I showed you just now, I signed up for an account and uh, downloaded all the software and once that was done, I have this Oculus app right here, which I can run. And it takes me right into the Oculus app store where they have like their top selling games, um, Bazaar, something here called Spectacle, uh, Transport, uh, Second Space, which I understand is a pretty good um, uh, shooter game. Of course, 3D, fully immersed uh, shooting game. Anybody who's familiar with like some of the old classics like um, Wing Commander, I believe Second Space is very similar to that. Here we have Gunjack. I uh, recently just bought that. That is, I think, one of the most impressive games I've seen that really tests this Gear VR and as well as the uh, hardware on this phone. It's a very, very good game. Um, and uh, I'll give you my real impressions on it shortly. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set up the Gear VR with this phone. And, you know, once you're set up, you know, how when you, when you run the Oculus app, you can actually buy these games, Qu quite a few of them here, as you can see. Um, and they're pretty, um, some of them cost a bit of money, like this one I know is pretty good as well, too. Um, and so are two, um, another shoot em up. Um, you know, this one is eleven ninety nine, and this is Canadian dollars, so, you know, eleven ninety nine. that's like, what, eight ninety nine US today, but, and I mean, the reason these games do cost a little bit of money, I mean, uh, it's, it's a relatively new niche, so, you know, until there's a, a huge ton of people buying these things, you know, a lot of money went to developing these games, so, you know, you have to spend some money, it's not a lot, and here we have some new and noteworthy, um, games here as well. Um, as you can see, and then they have like Netflix as well is an app that you can actually run. Uh, the experience is pretty much you're in a in, in a virtual like room with a large screen TV, and you're watching Netflix. Uh, you know, in in your private 3D environment. Now, I mean the the resolution won't be the same as just watching it on a on a 2D screen, which is much more impressive in terms of resolution. But to get that 3D experience and that privacy feel, you can watch it on the Gear VR. And one other thing to note too, um, with these apps, when you buy them and download them, you cannot run them from the phone like that. You have to actually plug the phone into the VR headset and then you can access the menu from within the VR. Um, and it's a very, very cool experience as well because you actually use your head movement to navigate the menus and then you can use the side keys here. There's a little control pad here. It's actually a touch, a touch pad to, um, um, navigate your menu and here's the back but button right here again I'll go into some more detail on on all the buttons and stuff on this VR so I hope you enjoyed that video 
Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you you know you just have to enter your email address once and you know it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw um, and we will use that email address of course to, to contact the winner to tell them hey you've won something um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool and of course the newsletter will have you know you know updates on tech reviews what's coming up new uh, you know what's coming up next um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways right so it's really a really really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out and one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here on my left uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel now by subscribing of course you will be you know at the forefront of any new things that are happening any new videos that are coming out um, and what i will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.